Hi everybody and welcome to our first online class. This is so exciting. It's wonderful to think that we, we've found a way that we can still connect and do art together. So um, fingers crossed this works out okay. My beautiful daughter Eloise is my um, gorgeous assistant today and she's one holding the camera because I've tried every which way to try and video this. I've even had it strapped to my head, but it didn't work. So <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Um, and, and fingers crossed it's okay. And uh, But just you can just let me know if, it, if you can't see well. But um, I'm sure we can tweak it and, and get it better as we go on. So welcome to my studio, first of all. I'm very lucky to have this lovely studio. And Eloise is going to give you a little tour. So, um, yeah, nice that I can have my pictures out here and all my... Paper. I've got a little chair here, which usually my daughters sit on, come and to have a chat to me or whoever does. So um, coming round, yeah, and then my lovely desk, which I've got everything that I need in here, and my easel. So today we're going to be doing this lovely hummingbird. So this is the photograph of it, Lulu. Thank you. And then this is how it's turned out. And I've drawn another one out, so we're ready to paint the next one. So what I'm going to do is put the hummingbird picture on WhatsApp or email it. I'll try and get it to you however I can. And then you've got that and you can paint that and then you can upload those images for me. Okay, so let's get started. So Eloise is just going to draw her chair up so she can get comfortable. Bless her. Mm -mm. Okay, Lulu, are you all sorted? Are you comfortable, mm -hmm. darling? Yeah. You, your arms are rested enough. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just going to get another brush out there. Right, so I'm going to just, you know, it's quite detailed the way I've done this. I haven't done a loose bird. Um, so um, I'm just going to use quite a small brush. I've got a number six to begin with. And like I always do, I'm going to start with the eye. So a little bit of Payne's Grey, everybody. Okay, so I can see in the photograph we've got a couple of little, um, little bits of light shining. So we're just going to identify those by just painting around them first of all. There's little shards of light. Okay. And then we're just going to paint our bird. Sorry, Lou, I'm just going to move that over there because I can't see that as well. Okay. Right. And we just want the eye to look pleasing as well, don't we? We don't want it to be a mean looking eye. And then we come around and it sort of, it goes around like that. Then I'm just going to grab a little bit of um, indigo just to identify that ring that we've got around the eye, which when you download the picture, you'll be able to see. So if you can't get hold of this picture via WhatsApp or however I send it, then just you can just get it on Google. You'll be able to find it easily on Google Images or, or any other hummingbird, I guess. You don't have to do this one. Okay, so I've just put that ring around, which um, I will fill in later, but it's just, it's just, um, it will just help the eye just feel sunken in. Okay, so we've got the eye done. And then let's start with the little bird. So we'll put a little bit of Payne's Grey on his head. Just lightly, because we still want to have this idea of the light hitting there. Just a little bit there. And we've got a little bit of Payne's grey coming out to the beak, haven't we? Like that. And then a little bit here. Which, because that indigo is still wet, it should just bleed in a little bit. Okay, so just that little bit of Payne's grey. And we'll just have a little bit going along his back as well. So this, this is all a little bit fiddly, but we will get 
we will have a bit more fun in a minute when we get some more colours on. Okay, and we're just going to identify that there's a little bit of paper here. So I'm just touching the paper ever so slightly just to get this a little bit of texture on the um, hummingbird's back, just down to about there. Okay, so just really, really lightly with my brush. Okay, so now we're just going to put our beautiful colours in. So I've got this um, uh, Viridian green, so just this bright turquoisey green. And we can just pop a little bit here. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of a white space around his eye as well. But I've made a little bit more of that green because it's just such a gorgeous colour. Why wouldn't you? And a little bit here. Now what I'm doing now is I'm going to get this paint on pretty quickly because I'm going to create a sort of wet environment so that we can put all the other colours on and they'll bleed really, really nicely. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that green on coming down here. And then I'm going to quickly grab bright yellow, like a cadmium yellow. And let's get that here, down here. And that's just, can you see how that's just bleeding in? Is that picking it up all right, Lulu? Yeah. Thank you. It's just bleeding in really nicely to that green that we put on. And I think, let's just make a little bit more of those colours. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just absolutely gorgeous, that flash, flash of yellow. Actually, we can extend that, can't we? It could come down. Here, why, why wouldn't we? And then let's get it going with um, an ultramarine blue. Doing all right there, Lou. <laughs> yeah. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna put that, I'm just gonna go quite lightly, just a wash down there. Just keep it quite light. So all over with that blue. And then, I'm going to get Prussian blue now. And let's just get some Prussian blue under here. So we know that we've got darker tones under, underneath, don't we? So let's just darken that off a bit. And let's just get a little bit of Prussian blue coming in here. Gorgeous. Okay. And that little bit of ultramarine should sh hopefully just be showing up. I'm just going to add a little bit more there. I'm just going to remove a little bit there. Yeah. And then I'm just going to tease out, just so that I'm a bit more in control, just the edges here so we don't have such a hard line. You know I'm not keen on hard lines. Just tease it out a bit. And I'm just going to get a little bit of paint spray in there as well. So I'm just I'm just attacking this very much like it's fine art, rather than trying to be loose or interpret it. I'm, I'm being pretty slavish to what I see. Put a little bit more depth of colour in around here, and then just a little bit more under there, under his throat. It's looking very pretty already. Okay, so we're just going to do the beak now. So I'm using a little bit of Indian red. And we can put a little bit of red in that as well, a little bit of cadmium red, just to make the colour for his beak. So that the Indian red will just soften off that colour, just make it a little bit more natural looking. Right, and then we're just going to do his, his beak now. So coming out. I'm just going to be really careful with this. I'm going to leave a little bit of light, a little bit of white paper. I'm going to do the whole thing in the pink and then I can go over it with the paint grey as I need it. There, okay. And then I'm just going to do the top as well. And I'm just going to leave a little bit, like I say, you can see that light shining. I'm just going to leave a little bit of that. White paper. Just to suggest that open opening of the beak. Of 
because we can always close it up later, but at least we've um, we've done it, we've bought ourselves a bit of time. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go with a little bit of Payne's Grey with my fine brush.